So hello guys, my name is Kaochon and I'm here to teach you on how to export well, points or coordinates from a QGIS. Uh, maybe you want to save them into a CSV file or you want to send to someone as coordinates. So what you need to do first, uh, you open your QGIS. As you can see, this is what we were using earlier to import. So what you do, you go to create new shape file you select a name for the shape file in this case you want to name it export so that we know that's the coordinates that we want to export we want to choose a point as our geometry type then our coordinate system as previously we are in Zimbabwe the left side is UTM zone 35 so I will select UTM zone 35 then you to ask me new fields that you want to add we want to add the X field since I are there coordinates we have the x coordinates and the y coordinates so we want the decimal double uh, the precision is all up to you in this case we want to three as our precision then you add uh, that field then you again we continue the process for the y coordinates decimal double and you add now we have the id x y coordinates even if you want if you want to add a name you can uh, let's say name uh, this will be our a uh, text stream you want to name that point then we just say add again add field now we have our fields then you press ok from there as you can see our shape file has been created which is our point so from from that point you did you then go to you go you go to your export file then you make it editable you go to uh, toggle editing i hope i pronounce it uh, uh, correctly as you can see a sort of a pencil appears and uh, it shows that you are now working in that uh, folder that uh, excel file sorry that uh, shape file so you now go to this icon which is eight point feature then you just select you add your point point id maybe this is our first point then you go to name maybe i want to name it carlin that's our first first point then you say okay then our second point again i want to circle this area this is our second point point number two uh name uh, whatever you name it i will name it ara then okay then point number three again id uh sorry number three id then name maybe c whatever you want to name it it's just for learning people so then the other one again point number four again naming give it a name a po for this one i don't know why i chose po so from there you then save your edits now as you can see if you go here and you open the table of attributes you will see that only the id and the name have uh have values otherwise x and y doesn't have value so what you do you come here on the top then you select or you click where it says select all then you select all like this then you go to uh open field calculator this is the open field calculator you click there it will show you a table like this so from this table we want to update if we didn't have created the x and y tables you have to create the new the new fields here but we already created those ones so we will select here update existing field then we select the field that you want to update is the x field so we will go to geometry this is the long way to do it if you go to geometry you will find that there is an x geometry so it will take me time to go that side so the easier way to do it you just press shift a dollar sign then an x for the x value which means it will say it will retain the x value for any particular point that is given that's what the dollar sign x means then you press ok as you can see the x values are now there for each point 
Now I want to do the same for the y value. You again go to operate open field calculator again, sorry. Then you open it again, update existing fields. You select the field. In this case, it's the y field. Then again, shift dollar sign y value. Then you say OK. As you can see, all the x and y have now they have uh, values. Then you just press save here. After press saving, then you close. Now from there, you can save again here. Now from there, you can go and select the export. Then you go uh, our export file. Then you go to exports. Then what you say save as. Then from save as you select it's a comma a comma separated value, a file name. I want to save it as export one. Then code the system is still okay. The code is still, sorry. The code in the system is still okay. Let me check again. We don't have any file which is written in export one, so it's okay like this. Code in the system, uh, our code in the system. Geometry, it has to be automatic, it will pick up, then you press OK here. So, successfully saved. Uh, you then minimize this, you go to the working directory that you have saved your items in. In this case, I was saving in the code truth. As you can see, export one, here it is. And if I open it, I should be having the X and the Y values and the name. So it says read only because I'm already using it. So I will just say read only. Then, as you can see, these are my coordinates and they are ID. Thanks, guys, for watching. This is how you do it. Make sure to like and subscribe to our uh, channel.